Piava Gorica. It's a stretched out hamlet made up of groups of houses. It's situated on the pier above the southeastern edge of the Ljubljansko Barje. Its central part, where lower houses are predominant, is still reminiscent of the times of the horse carriages. The village was first mentioned around 1356 with the name Pietzbüchel. Local history reveals an interesting data of a fire on the 23rd of May, 1898, which spread so far out because of the strong wind that a large part of the village burned to the ground. The most interesting site in the village is the Gothic church of St. Simon and Jude Thaddeus, which was allegedly built in the first half of the 15th century. The first known sketch of the church can be traced to the Bishop of Ljubljana, Tomasz Hren, renewer of the Catholic faith, who on the 14th of April 1619 also visited Piava Gurica. Today the church with its bell tower, which was rebuilt in 1883, dominates the center of the village. The facade is not ornamented, in fact it seems quite plain. Apart from the southwestern corner, where a Roman tombstone is built in. The ornamental part is still visible, while the inscription is illegible. The presbytery has a fresco of St. Christopher with the fish Faronica, and on the south side of the church nave there is a fresco of saints. The church nave acquired Baroque elements during that period, therefore the only Gothic element is the presbytery with the groined arch in which the frescoes were discovered. The main altar is Baroque in style and dates back to 1775. In the niche are the statues of St. Simon and Jude Thaddeus. They are both presented with their distinctive attributes. Jude Thaddeus carries a book and a halberd or a club. He is venerated as a helper in dire times. Simon is depicted with a book and a saw, therefore presented as a patron saint of masoners, leather makers, and lumberjacks. They are celebrated on the 28th of October. Additionally, there are also the statues of St. Bartholomew, St. John the Baptist, and St. Lawrence. The altar is decorated with plant ornaments. On the top, there is a depiction of the crowning of Mary. The presbytery is Gothic, arched with groins which come together into two keystones. On the first one, there is a depiction of the crucifixion, and on the second one, there used to be the Lamb of God, but it was not preserved. Between the groins of the first arch, the evangelists are depicted, while there are angels on the concluding part of the presbytery. The frescoes discovered in the presbytery with a few preserved scenes and the angels on the ceiling are the work of a Gothic painter, Janis Lubliansky. They were allegedly painted in 1456. These frescoes are among the best examples of 15th century wall painting in Slovenia, therefore this church is a cultural monument of local importance. In the years 1975 and 1976, the church also got a stone altar, the work of the architects Kushar and Bregar. It is placed under the triumphal arch. The building was renovated also in 1988, when it was severely damaged by lightning. In 1996, new benches by the architect Blaschi Rip were placed in the church. Now the villagers have also tidied the surroundings, which are defined by a well-preserved low wall around the church.